let's talk about expert parallel models. As a reminder, mixture of experts is a type of neural network that skips a non-trivial number of parameters for any given input. The way it works is that we have a learned router in the neural network that for any given input uses it to select a subset of experts which are actually run to produce the output. The goal is that each expert is used often in a batch, but not for every input that goes by. We're interested in using this architecture in order to gain extra parallelism when training a very large neural network on a very large number of devices. The main idea is going to be quite simple. We're going to divide up the experts over our devices such that each device will only specialize in computing given experts. That way it can keep the parameters actually in memory and run them very efficiently. Challenge is, is that we need to actually dispatch the tokens for a given layer off to the devices that have the experts that actually are supposed to be used for that given token. In order to do this, we actually have to do explicit routing to send them around and make sure they reach the experts themselves. This dispatch step is critical in actually running these systems efficiently at large scale. There are several problems that actually come up in practice when doing this. The first is that the actual architecture is able to learn which tokens get sent to which experts. And if it learns to do this in an unbalanced way, we'll then have actual ineffective parallelism in our model. If all the inputs are being sent to one device, we're losing parallelism just because of our neural network not actually being smart enough to use it. Another consideration that's a little bit more subtle is the traffic in our system itself. If we've decided that each token should be sent to a very large number of experts, and they're all divided up into different devices, then we end up overwhelming the network itself. We only have a fixed amount of bandwidth in our system, and in order to do this efficiently, we don't want to have too much traffic when deciding which experts we should send things to. A more advanced version of this problem is to consider the network hierarchy itself. In modern clusters, there's actually two types of networking going on. Within a given device, we may have eight different GPUs that are connected by very high bandwidth and VLink. Within the full network itself, we may have something like InfiniBand, which is much less bandwidth and could be uh, overrun by sending too many tokens. This motivates an idea where you send some of our inputs to, say, one given device, and then make it more likely that they'll be using multiple different experts that are co-located on that device itself. Taking this into account into the network architecture itself can actually utilize the hardware better in practice. 